giving up the riding and going into the World Rally Championship next year. That could be only a dream. <laughs> we'll wait and see. <laughs> Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I had met Thomas in Kilbegan after during the summer one evening Florin Porter was parading. And I'd seen the videos of him celebrating after Cheltenham and that and you know, he, he always looked uh, a bright young man in the videos at home, but once I, I met him that evening in in Kilbegan, uh, he was just it was a great appreciation for everything that he was able to do you know he, he got his new chair he was out and about he's very intelligent he loves his GA he, he's well up there in his sport you know he's he's following golf he's into his horse race and I think he's getting into a bit of rallying now as well so I'm privileged to have my lifestyle be able to follow my dreams, but I'd hate for people to think it. I thought it was an entitlement for me. You know, I love what I do, but it's great to be able to give back as well. So that was, that's given me a lot of satisfaction uh, for Thomas to be enjoying the journey as much. I take it for granted maybe that's my job and I'm in there and I'm, I'm doing those things week in week out to see Thomas and you know that coming in there and really enjoying it it makes me step back and appreciate what I have as well. This weekend he's driving a different kind of horsepower in a in the Wexford Rally, getting behind the wheel. What do you make of that as he's his boss? <laughs> First I heard of it, but um, <laughs> poor car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think uh, no, Danny, he's a great driver, and um, he will give it his all anyhow. So um, might be much of the car left after. But yeah, hope he has a good time. I think he, he was quite he was quite surprised anyway. So I've uh, I sent him on a few few clips. And he was laughing and yeah, it'll be something different anyway. So we're here now to pick up the wrecky car. It's a fair beast to go. This little bet's here, give us something to see. It's a friend of his that does rallying and he uses it for the recce. It's handy to, to have the left hand anyway to get oh, used yeah, to it. Oh yeah, the left hand. Yeah. Certainly, yeah. Definitely, yeah. 97. Oh my god. Did the job. Yeah, yeah. Did the job. Did we ring this tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, the only garage are wide enough for that one. Oh, we make them. We make them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
Uh, not my fault, the driver's fault. It's a team. Yeah. I, I, I need not to phone on my hand anyway. Uh, we're just going up the main road and it was just a slight not even a bend and it was just a bit wet and I floored it and it just started to kick out. If you're say in a big field handicap you want to know the horses that are in front of you, how well they jump, how good they are, where, who's going to carry you into the race if your horse wants to be delivered late, you want to be on follow maybe the horse that you think you have to beat, they'll carry you through and you know from the rally driving, you're driving the corner here, but your mind is on the next one. To five left! Square left, opens to five left. Opens to five left. Late, four right, 30. Down the middle. 60. Chicane. Right entry. Four bales. So we'll say the numbers would be six is the fastest corner, left or right. So it'd be one to six. One would be the slowest corners. Six are the fastest corners. And then the distance in between would be like a 150 to the next corner, which would be then six right. Um, then there could be like a chicane, it'd be where the bales are and you have to weave between them. If it's too too straight and they're building up too much speed, they'll put in a chicane to slow you down. You can keep driving forever, but you're not going to learn it. That's it, like a, a good idea of what's coming and where. Yeah, these are easy to, yeah, to stick in your, well now, I was happier this morning with Sunday. Yeah, Sunday was a lot better once we'd done it again today. I think we were just tired last week. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see a fellow buying one rally suit? I mean, that doesn't happen. That's nice. Oh, yeah. No sandwiches tonight, anyway. Yeah, the suit now, so. It's easier for an arrow. Look. I wouldn't get it off. I wouldn't get it off. They're small here, though, no? A little bit more. We've got light. <laughs>
you can see they're here. <laughs> All you can see is they're here. <laughs> and they're here. Well, while I was trying to learn how to do it to drive here and now but have my mind up there and it's something that I, I've been used to on a racehorse where I think is the subconscious is doing here and now where your mind is planning your next move and if you're not one or two steps ahead in a race uh, you're going to get caught out. COC for this event. Hello, how are you? These are your first day out, yeah? Yeah, sure. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you think of it? COC? Good. Yeah, COC. Uh, Me, how are you? Good. First day, yeah, it's good and flow, and second day is a bit tougher, but sure. Yeah, yeah. We take it stage by stage. Ah, yeah, look at it. You have to finish first. Yeah, yeah. To finish first, the first one was finished. Yeah, you know, so just get around the first time. Yeah, a lot of rallying in two days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from this stage, Saturday is lovely. Oh yeah, that, night, that one down by the river is nice. Oh, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Scenic, scenic. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, nearly yeah, stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just want you to know, we're the river, we don't. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to fish here. No, no. Look at the water. No, no. Be safe, anyway. We'll see you on Saturday night. All right. You need anything? Let us know. All right. Thanks very much. Take care. Cheers. Thanks. Ninety-two is good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. just need your license. Okay. In between sales. See you, Paul. Thank you. Good See you, Take care. Are you going over to Sarah Morton start? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing that. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be a bit of track. <laughs> now, where is Andy? In the restaurant, sir. How are you going? Uh, uh, we're just in the river bank here now. Yeah, oh, you're just coming in, are you? Ah, deadly. Yeah, no panic. We're seeing you're in. Uh, yeah, just went straight when you come in by reception, we're just there. Good man, good man. Coming in there now. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it's, you know, it's racing, it's yeah, horses, yeah. it's, it's four-wheel yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good, it's the same, same adrenaline boats really. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. But I haven't really, I've been riding horses a couple of times. Other than that, it's just very slowly and I'm sure very easy horses. You're more experienced than me in the rally car, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I'm not going straight into a race with you anyway, so... We'll get a race next week, we'll get back to be arranged. If you're on the best horse in the race, you can pretty much go to a certain level flat out. Yeah. But, do you imagine, I don't know, if you're doing... A 10 kilometer stage, but you basically have only fuel for 9 kilometers. So if you go flat out, you're just going to die later on. So you, you, you have to judge that. And then when you're getting into more technical stuff, the tires seem to be the main thing. How do you know when the tires are up to speed or they're warm enough? But one of the best ways to warm up the tire is kind of a Take some speed and slowly break down the, light, the, the brake in a way. Yeah, yeah. But in a way that you don't lock the wheels. Yeah, yeah. The, this would be a like, <laughs> jump race for the championships. Oh, okay. This horse uh, is a little bit crazy, but he's very good. Okay. He jumps it really well and then just tries to go and I'd go two hands on one rein. But then once he straightens up, he went on and it's gone again. And they had no more kick to finish. But because I was able to steady it up a bit, I had more petrol to go again. What is that? So this was the World Championship? Yeah, that would be Cheltenham, like it'd be the Dutch World Championship. What was that race worth? It was a quarter of a million or that, yeah. We're leaving Wexford. So we're leaving Wexford. 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 We're Loving it. Exciting. It's becoming real now. <laughs> Great, yeah, really enjoying the weekend. Something completely foreign to me. I, I drove my first rally car last Tuesday and I'm racing this weekend, so I've jumped in at the deep end, but I'm loving it. Good stuff, good cool, man. Um, it's mad, I think the last time I was talking to you, it definitely wasn't about rallying anyway, but uh, the last few weeks have obviously been very exciting for you, like, yeah? Yeah, definitely, you know, Andy Hayes has been very good, helped me get everything set up, and, you know, Michal and myself are getting through it uh, with a good testing yesterday and hopefully we're getting up to some bit of speed but keep her between the ditches and see how we go. It's an exciting evening and to see everybody turned out here this evening it's something that's taken me back a little bit. If you got at the races in Wexford or Blow and Goan Park you'd be happy with that crowd wouldn't you in fairness? Definitely yeah yeah we were in Wexford uh, uh, racing horses last week and probably didn't have the same crowd so to see everybody coming out supporting the event here this evening yeah it's fantastic. Good man, we'll grab a word with Michal. Michal, um, about a few months since we spoke last on the podcast, but uh, we do exist in, in real life as well. <laughs> but uh, how's life with you since? Good, good. Um, as you know, my kind of competitive rally in year, years was 20 years ago. My last rally was Carrick Forestry, 2002. And then through very tragic events, I kind of retired. But I always wanted to come back. I said I'd come back 
for my fifth date and then had a medical issue in COVID. So I eventually came back for the stone throwers. It wasn't my best outing ever, but I'm here now with Danny and uh, we're having good cracking, enjoying it. Must say massive congratulations to Wexford Motor Club, the marshals, the stages, the crowds here tonight. It's so well organized, absolutely fantastic. Well, listen, the very, the very best look, the, the goal for you obviously I would say is to get to the finish line, unless you're, you're planning on ulterior motives. Yeah, what's the main line is you can't finish first unless you finish first, so we'll, we'll no, get round. No, you can't. You must finish. F you first must finish to finish first. <laughs> Something like that. So may, if I have a good co-pilot, he'll get me there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Mullins and Michal Maher, the very best look, lads, and well done again. Away he goes. Are they all lined up in number order, are they? Ready for action, yeah, hopefully. Weather stay fine now, we'll be good. Hi. Say go on, pusher. On, pusher. <laughs> So, Danny, not long to go. Are you nervous? Or how, how are you feeling, Jeff? Excited. Excited. I, I know. I know the first yeah. stage is like. The lads are in off it in the first few rounds, said it's a bit slippy, so don't want to go too crazy there. Get round, uh, but very excited. So you got slick tyres on, everything's all kind of new, ready to rock? Yeah, I've got brand new Michelins, they say they're the best. Um, they look the part anyway. They look good. Uh, I'm told I need to warm them up, I have a clue what that means. Normally I can't do the start and warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, like um, so. Well, your thoughts for for like first stage now is it more about just getting around the track, around the circuit, learning it, and then progress as you go? I think so. Like there, so we have three stages, and we do each stage three times. So I'll do the first loop of the three stages. I don't want to be driving maximum there. Yeah. It's just get through the three stages see what feedback Michal is going to give me, like his years of experience, he'll know from each stage what he wants me doing different areas we need to ease off in, areas we need to push harder in and as we get into that I, I think we, we can start to build it up a little bit more. And so the competitor Danny Mullins might start coming out yeah. Well, the competitor is in there, yeah. but the realist is just keep yeah. me in check for the moment. And yeah, so he's holding the reins tight. Put it that is that the, the, the reins are tight at the moment, but uh, trying to pop down the internet. Hopefully, once uh, yeah, we get a, a run up somewhere once Mihal is starting to give me a bit of green light. Yeah, you have your dad. If you if you think after the first stage that you're not, just give it a twist. Yeah, yeah. Just twist the whole yeah. lot. And then we can shot.
Okay. Camera on. Start of special stage one. 14 kilometers. Deadly. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a million. So I'll count down from 10. I just remember it's our first stage. Tires are cold. Oil is cold. Everything is cold. Tip into it. Just drive it nice and handy. Nice fast road speed. Don't just drive it as you see it. Yeah. Okay, 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Leave it in first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Sixty. Four left over. Bump. Eighty. Up the middle. Fast four right, easy. Nice and steady now. Three right at pillar 40. Six left, 200. 